Hey guys, today we're going to be ranking the studio albums by The Police. Famous rock band uh, that did not put out near enough albums. I, you know, I realize Sting made a significant career on his own, and I will be ranking his albums one day as well on this channel. So please like and subscribe for that. The Police have one, two, three, four, five albums. And they're all pretty darn good. But they can't all be the best. So let's get into ranking the studio albums by this amazing band. Uh, they formed in 1977 in London. And their classic lineup was Sting, Andy, Stewart. And yeah, pretty, pretty darn good. New wave, reggae rock, post-punk, pop rock band. Any good musicians got punk rock in their DNA. I just believe that 100%. Every band that I love has at least a little tiny drop of punk rock in their uh, makeup, their, their DNA, and their image. So let's just start ranking the Police studio albums. Coming in first and worst, it's, it's not a bad album. This is a really great band, guys. Absolutely was blown away when I went to listen to The Police. I did it pretty recently, I'd say within the last year or so. And, you know, I, I kind of had been skipping The Police because I thought maybe it would be kind of boring. No, no. This is the worst record by The Police. Zenyatta Mandata. And it's pretty darn good. Let's take a look. This came out in 1980, five years before I came out. Um, and it's got, don't stand so close to me. That's a perfect way to stick, kick off your career. That's pretty darn good. Um, other singles are driven to tears. When the world is running down, you make the best of what's still around. Uh, but these are, uh, these are all really good. I really enjoyed... Um, don't stand so close to me, but the other tracks, pretty darn good. For a worst album, uh, you could definitely do worse than The Police's worst, if that makes any sense. Coming in second worst, or one, two, three, four, fifth best, if you want to call it that, is going to be Regatta de Blanc. Regatta de Blanc. Some interesting so uh, album titles. October 2nd, 1979. Um, let's see. Ooh, some of, a lot of the songs were recorded in 78, and then No Time This Time was recorded in 79. This has a Message in a Bottle, Walking on the Moon, Bringing on the Night, and The Bed's Too Big Without You as singles, but some of the deep cuts on here really do it for me, especially... For a second worst record on my ranking, wow. Uh, this is just freaking awesome. And, you know, Copeland wrote um, a lot of the songs as well as Sting. And it's just, man, those songs are so good. Coming up next, uh, now we're, you know, we're getting into the much, the much, much better albums, even though those weren't bad. Again, I don't have anything bad to say about The Police. Um, and it's not because I'm afraid that they'll arrest me either. Um, coming up next is going to be Ghost in the Machine. This came out in October 2nd of 1981. They really love those October albums, didn't they? Uh, I think that's, that's pretty standard on, with most bands. Or a lot of bigger, um, more well-known bands tend to release around that time. And I love it. That's when, that's around my birthday. So I love that. Uh, the singles from Ghost in the Sheen were Invisible Sun, Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic, Spirits in the Material World, which I was not familiar with before digging into the album. And I really love that one. Secret Journey was another um, late single from the album. Uh, yeah, Spirits in the Material World really surprised me. The... Uh, I can't believe that I'd never heard it. I grew up with Every Little Thing She Does Is Magic. And uh, some of these other songs, too, were pretty darn good. Omega Man, 
Secret Journey, just a lot of great stuff on Ghost in the Machine, 1981. Now we're going to my top two police records. And I could have the popular opinion, I could have the hot take on this. Let me know in the comments if my ranking is controversial, stupid, idiotic, or just wrong. I, you know, I mean, it's possible to have a wrong opinion, I guess. This is the internet. But, in my opinion, the second best police album is going to be their, their final, Synchronicity. Came out in, um, oh, this one's not late. Uh, this is, hey, my son's birthday, but in 1983. Interesting. Let's see what we got. Don't like the album artwork. Synchronicity 1 is a good track. Synchronicity 2 is a good track. Every Breath You Take, King of Pain, Wrapped Around Your Finger, Tea in the Sahara, Man. This whole thing is pretty darn good. Synchronicity. However, there is a better album. And guess what, guys? I, uh, you know... Oh, my goodness. I gotta get this on vinyl. Oh, yeah, that would be perfect in my, my brand new vinyl collection. How do you even pronounce this? Outlandos de Amor. I know I'm butchering that. I don't know how to pronounce words very well. As you can tell. This. Uh, fireworks. Special effects guy. Fireworks for Outlandos de Amour. 78. Uh, three really great songs. And the, the other seven are pretty darn good as well. Next to you. So lonely. So lonely. Am I thinking of the right so lonely? I think I am. So lonely. So lonely. Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red lights. Hole in my life. Peanuts. Can't stand losing you. Truth hits everybody. Born in the 50s. I absolutely love Born in the 50s. Be My Girl, Sally, and Masoko Tenga. They really have an affection for those um, different languages, and that's pretty cool. I like that. Uh, definitely, you know, we don't have an official language here. So, you know, speak whatever language you want to. The police are just doing it in every language, and they're doing it, doing it well. Um, really blew me away. That being said... They still are not, in terms of uh, my list of my favorite artists of all time, uh, they're coming in at around 109. And I know that sounds a little bit low, but gosh, um, even their bad songs were, were not too bad. They are in between, what do we got here, Police, just searching for the police. They are in between Limp Biscuit and Bloodhound Gang, and I know, I know, I know, that sounds blasphemous. But I mean, they're pretty. They're pretty good. You know, they're 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 ranked higher than um, they're ranked higher than Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, higher than Bush, higher than most of my country picks, and um, yeah, they're they're a really great rock band. Really enjoyed listening to their albums. Will I go back and listen to these on rotation like regularly? Definitely not. They they are not. A band that I listen to often, but when I do, it's a real, real treat. So I kind of want to keep them in that category where I'm not, I'm not a police nerd. I'm not the nerd police either. I could be the nerd police. But police, really fantastic rock band. Doesn't appear that they're going to... Um, Let's see, they had a reunion tour in 2007 and 8. I was going to say it doesn't appear like they're going to reform anytime soon. And it definitely doesn't. They had a reunion, uh, you know, 2008 looked like the end of that. Uh, is there any hope of them doing anything? 
da, 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 da. no, it doesn't appear so. It looks like uh, that's just sort of the end of the road for the police. But in rock and roll, we never say never. So here's to a 2021 police reunion.